Do you for once just let us enjoy a party instead of making it about all your issues? Okay, let's get right into it. I need two people for the first ooh, scene. Ooh, 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 Mr. Carter! Mr. Carter! Okay, Michael, and... Anybody? How about Mary Beth? <laughs> Come on. Okay, so you start us off, Mary Beth. La, 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 la. Boom! Detective Michael's card! I'm with the FBI! Think about this. What is the most exciting thing that can happen on TV or in movies or in real life? Somebody has a gun. That's why I always start with a gun, because you can't top it. You just can't. I'm supposed to meet my doctor here. <laughs> Have you seen him? He's a very angry midget. Boom! Freeze! Michael Schoon, FBI. You know what you did. Boom! Boom! Oh. Boom! Yeah, you thought you could get away with your little ruse, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, you didn't, because I know where you hid the diamonds. I've been on to you and your little friends for weeks. Boom! 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 I'm not boom. even in the scene! Boom! Stop. I can't! Stop! Boom. Stop! Boom. They're not, stop! Boom! Okay, she shot me. Great. What? Stop. Why? Okay, you can't just shoot everyone in the scene. Well, if you hadn't stopped the scene, you would have seen where it was going. Okay, what about the scene they set up? Boring. No, it wasn't. No more guns. Could have too. No, no. Michael, why don't you give me all the guns you have? Just get rid of all your guns and give them to me. Great. Okay. Yeah, okay. This morning, the phone guy comes in, and he shows Michael that our phones have a PA function. And then he just left. This is your captain speaking. The office will be flying at an altitude of two stories. Look out your left-hand window, and you will see Vance Refrigeration. <laughs> I am the ghost of salesman past. Do not come near me. <laughs> Yes, Michael Scott for Dr. Jocelyn, please. Hello, doctor. I was just following up about my mole again. Now, I was looking online about sebaceous cysts. I have not been squeezing it. Oh. Could I stick it with a pin? Uh. Don't be blundered then to the principal's office. Your mother called, and it appears that you wet the bed again. So you have to get home to wash your sheets because they're yellow and they're wet with your urine. Six foot six from the University of North Carolina, Jim Halper! That's pretty funny. <laughs> hey, you know what? Did I drop my, uh... What the heck? Is that, uh... You find it? I didn't. I'll look somewhere else. All right. All right. Would you like fries with that? Please drive around. Nothing much. What's up with you? I cannot believe I fell for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? What? Where's the funny? Give it to me. Um, was it me or does it smell like up dog in here? What's up dog? Nothing much. What's up with you? Oh, wow. <laughs> I walked right into that. Oh, that's brilliant. Hey, Stanley, is that jacket made of up dog? I'm on the phone. Mmm. What flavor coffee is that? Up dog? What's that? I don't know. Nothing. What's up with you? Huh? No. Damn it. What does that mean? What does what mean? The thing you just said. Let's forget it. Dwight! Hey, is it me? Or does this place smell like up dog? What's up dog? Gotcha! Oh, God. Crap. Nothing. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Okay. Damn it. Um, I'm sure that Bob. Wow, that is. That is pungent. Um, I lost my train of thought. Ah, uh, are you set on that hairstyle? I thought it was. Yeah, let me 
Michael, no. Just cover I don't up that need your bald patch. Thank you. No, Michael, please. I just need some time alone. Okay. Okay. And do you, Phyllis, take Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, for the first time as a couple, Mr. and Mrs. Bob Vance! And do you, Bob, take oh, Phyllis shit. to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. You may now kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time as a couple, Mr. and Mrs. Bob Hi, I'm Michael Scott, and for the next 40 minutes, I am going to be your tour guide through the lives of Phyllis Lappin and Bob Vance, one of the great, seemingly impossible love stories of our time. My name is Michael Scott, Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. Now, this is the forklift. You need, you need a license to operate this machine. That means the upstairs office workers can't drive it. Quiz, Mike, should you drive the forklift? I can and I have. No, 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 no. I said should you. You should not drive it. You should not drive the forklift. You You're not allowed that? to drive the forklift. It's not safe. You don't have a license. Guys, I'm not the only one who's driven the forklift. Pudge has driven the forklift. Madge. I thought your name was Pudge. No, it's always been Madge. OK. Um, her. Her. Yes, her is qualified to work a dangerous machine. You are not. OK? Uh, fine. Do you understand that? Yes. We do safety training every year or after an accident. We've never made it a full year. This particular time, I was reaching for a supply box on the top shelf when one office worker, who shall remain nameless, kicked the ladder out from under me and yelled, Hey, Daryl, how's it hanging? <laughs> and I fell and busted my ankle. And I'm legitimately scared for my workers. These are very dangerous machines down here, and the upstairs workers, Michael, should not go anywhere near them. Yes, yes. But it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It would be the worst thing in the world. It would very is much wrong so. This man? It's a big red trash what compact. You, it's and not that's a very trash dangerous. Okay. Okay. Right, 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 right. I got it. I got it. Only on the rarest of occasions. No, do I not go touch near it. it. There is no occasion for you to go near this stuff, okay? Oh man, you should order milk. Get it? Why do I like Hooters? Well, I will give you two reasons, the boobs and the hot wings. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Bogey at three o'clock, hi. Hey, I'm Dana, welcome to Hooters. We're not worthy, we're not worthy. Hello, Dana. I am Michael and this is Jim and we are brothers. Nope, we're not brothers. I'm his boss actually and I treat him well. I'm taking him out to lunch because I can afford it, and he can have whatever he wants. Can I just have the ham and cheese sandwich? Thanks. And for you? Tell me, Dana, how is your chicken breast? Oh, it's great. It's served with our world famous wing sauce. Mmm, sounds yummy. I will have a chicken breast. Hold the chicken. Oh. <laughs> is that what you really want? No, I'm gonna have the gourmet hot dog. Great. Uh, Larissa Halpert. What's her address? 117 Von Bergen Street. Hello. Hey, Ryan. This is Michael Jackson. Calling from Wonderland. You mean Neverland? This is Tito. <laughs> what? Oh, I have to get back to work. I have lots of work to, oh, 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 check this out. Come here. There he is. Mr. Temp, having lunch by the car. Let us play with him. This is real earth. Oh, we are playing phone tag. Seven new messages. First new message. <laughs> 
Next message. Hey, Ryan, this is your girlfriend. And I'm 